PowerPath VE version 5.4 Service Pack 2 extends PowerPath VE's uh, traditional benefits, which you can see here, simple and easy install and upgrades, better path monitoring, and enterprise-level uh, multipathing, and adds certain uh, important capabilities. Broader support for new uh, targets, such as VPlex, IBM DS8000s, and Hitachi AMS 2300. Broad support for vSphere 4.1, both ESX and ESXi, as well as support for Microsoft clustering and Windows services for clustering, um, inside uh, uh, guests with full support for VMHA and DRS. What we're going to show here is how simple and easy it is to install and uh, uh, update um, uh, a cluster using uh, PowerPath VE uh, 5.4 uh, Service Pack 2. What we're going to do here is we're going to use VUM, which you can see that we've simply and easily uh, started to stage the updates for the cluster. Um, we've got two hosts in our cluster, it's a minimal example. But VMware Update Manager is a very simple and easy tool. We're using the extension baselines capabilities here. Uh, we're updating uh, the uh, process for remediation. We're selecting exactly how we want to do it, just like any VUM uh, ESX host level uh, patch. So here you can see that it's now going and it's uh, remediating the entities, which is going to go through and it's going to manage the entire process of uh, putting ESX hosts into maintenance mode, which will migrate active VMs uh, using vMotion non-disruptively, and throughout that process will update the entire vSphere cluster. Installing PowerPath VE is that simple and that easy. You can use VMware Update Manager to patch, uh, remediate, um, and do it all non-disruptively. Once it's been installed, you can see that uh, uh, devices that PowerPath VE supports will automatically show up in the uh, natural place where you'd see the NMP policy. And if you're using the freely available EMC vCenter plugins, you can see even more details about multipathing behavior. Um, so for example, if we uh, look at any one of these individual devices, you can see, for example, the PowerPath details about what policy is being used, uh, target ports, uh, multipathing behavior, and you can see state and mode uh, details that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. So for example, we just showed an EMC VMAX as well as an EMC Unified uh, Array. As we've seen, installing and updating PowerPath VE to version 5.4 SP2 is simple and easy, and uh, it extends EMC uh, PowerPath VE's traditional value prop, which is making multipathing enterprise class simple, easy, and invisible. Uh, here we're going to create a workload and we'll see that it's evenly distributed across all the available paths, in this case two, but it could be a very large number. And as we kill paths, workloads will be distributed evenly and extremely rapidly. And as we uh, uh, um, reintroduce new paths or reintroduce uh, failed paths, uh, the workload once again properly rebalances. Uh, key benefits, just to reiterate, are not only those traditional value propositions, but now broader array support. Um, uh, full support uh, for vSphere 4.1, both ESX and ESXi, and the addition of support for Microsoft clustering or Windows services for clustering within individual guest OSs while maintaining full support for VMHA and for DRS. Uh, thanks very much for being EMC and VMware customers.